It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Tuesday, the 22nd of September. I'm Michael Groff. A few showers around parts of the valley this morning smells just a bit like rain out there. Unfortunately, by the time most of you watch this, that rain will be out of here and we're back to the status quo. And that's dry conditions and temperatures to remain above average through at least most of the forecast period. All right, let's dive in and talk about it. Yesterday, 103 degrees, the afternoon high, 81 the morning low. The normal high now down to 98, the normal low 75. Outside now, here just after 9 o'clock, mostly cloudy skies out there. And yes, those light showers around in spots. And we're sitting at 90 degrees at Sky Harbor, dew points at 52, relative humidity 28%. The winds are light and the barometer is steady. Temperatures out there this morning, 76 is the cool spot at Fort McDowell. Otherwise, we're mainly in the 80s to low 90s. Temperatures were held up overnight thanks to the increased moisture and clouds around. The upper air look this morning, the big synoptic features on the board. There's Teddy on the far right-hand side of your screen, well off the east coast of the United States, moving northward. Beta is along the Gulf Coast, or what's left of it. And a little wave coming through the southwestern United States, and that's been around for the last 24 hours or so, and again has brought a few light showers. You see those on radar right now. Moving through the valley, some of that rain is not reaching the ground. So if you're getting wet, consider yourselves one of the lucky ones. We have had some reports of some brief gusty winds with these showers, too, to around 30, 35 miles per hour or so. Here's the watch warning map. The west has quieted down, still have the air quality alerts and high fire danger, especially in parts of California, but most of the west still very dry, except for the Pacific Northwest. They're still getting hammered by some heavy rain. The Gulf Coast, speaking of heavy rain, still some flood watches down there, tropical storm warnings. Those should end as beta continues to weaken. The convective outlook for today, the marginal risk of severe storms, again, with the remnant circulation of beta in southeast Texas, southwest Louisiana. An isolated tornado is still possible down there. And the tropics, beginning to settle down a bit out here in the Atlantic Basin. Paulette is back on the board. The system is regenerated to a tropical storm, really more of a post-tropical system at this point. We've got Teddy moving northward in the Atlantic, and then the remnant circulation of Beta, Tropical Depression Beta. Let's talk about Paulette. This is just going to kind of swirl around out here somewhere west of Portugal for the next few days and fizzle out. Here's Teddy. This thing is a monster storm in terms of its size. Look at the wind fields really stretching out with this. And uh, still top winds over 100 miles per hour. This is moving northward toward Nova Scotia and Newfoundland. Although maybe some tropical storm force winds might just clip the upper coast of Maine today. So we'll watch for that. But otherwise, this is going to continue to accelerate and become post-tropical. Be a big rain and wind producer for the Canadian Maritimes. And then here's Beta, or what's left of it, Tropical Depression now with uh, the winds diminishing as it continues to hang around inland. But of course, this is still going to put down some very heavy rain. And again, an isolated tornado is possible there. Precipitation around here for the next seven days. No measurable rain is expected in the valley. Could some spot get one one hundredth of an inch with these little showers moving through this morning? I guess, but probably not. Uh, any rain, very light as it is, should be confined to the northern part of the state. So let's get into modeling right now, see what's going on out there. Here we go, the GFS, the 06Z run valid at 2 o'clock today. There's Teddy merging with the mid-latitude system off the east coast, a very impressive trough in the Gulf of Alaska, and a short wave moving through the southwestern United States. So down at the surface for us today, clouds around this morning, an isolated shower still possible through mid to late morning. And then most of those rain showers move off into northern Arizona. Could be a clap of thunder up there as well today. Otherwise, uh, high temperatures this afternoon, 101 to 104. The sky becomes mostly sunny by this afternoon. Tonight, clear skies, lows in the 70s to about 80. Should be a bit cooler than last night. And then tomorrow, plenty of rain in the Pacific Northwest. But around here, high pressure still in control. High temperatures, 101 to 104. We'll tack on a degree or two for Thursday and Friday. Hot. Highs pretty close to 105 each day, maybe even a degree or two above that. Over the weekend, troughing passes north of Arizona, flattening out the ridge briefly. Highs around 100 to 103 on Saturday and maybe a degree warmer on Sunday, but a big ridge is nosing in from the west. So by early next week, the guidance is coming in much warmer with upper heights between 591 and 594 decameters. We could see highs easily above 105. The GFS is printing out 106 for Monday. The European, believe it or not, is showing 110. I don't think it's going to be quite that hot, but we definitely have trended the forecast warmer here. 
Now, let's go out to a week from today. This is Tuesday the 29th, a very high amplitude pattern going on. Big trough in the east. Look at the ridge sitting right on top of us in the west. That ridge extends all the way up into the northwest territories. Goodness, it's going to be warm and dry out here again. We don't want to see that with the wildfire situation being what it is. And so that means temperatures stay above normal. And then going out 10 days, this is Thursday the 1st of October. Still have the big trough in the east and a ridge out here in the west, although the GFS is indicating some shortwave energy undercutting that feature. And if, and it's a big if, that were to verify, yes, a little bit of moisture could get pulled northward for some isolated showers and thunderstorms across Arizona. But the more likely solution is that we will remain warm and dry. All right, speaking of, here we go. The precipitation coming off the European Ensemble, 51 members here. The Ensemble mean is well under a tenth of an inch. Most of the members, about 90% of them, show no rain in here at all for the next uh, couple of weeks, taking us out through the first week of October. And temperatures off the national blend of models, we're going to stay above average and likely above the century mark through the rest of the month and again into and beyond the first of October. And that's going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video back here tomorrow morning. If you enjoy these videos, be sure to subscribe, like, share, and click that notification bell so that whenever a brand new video is posted, you'll get the notice. Your comments, questions, and suggestions always encouraged as well. Thanks so much for watching. It's always appreciated. You guys be safe, stay cool, and hydrated out there. Watch your kids and each other around the swimming pool and have yourselves a wonderful Tuesday. Thank you.